let us discuss about light emitting diode or LED. Light emitting diode, which we also call LED, is nothing but like PN junction diode. These diodes emit light when it is forward biased. When any diode is forward biased, current flows through the diodes. Current is caused in the diode due to flow of holes and free electrons both. During this process of flow of holes and free electrons, there will be recombination amongst them. That means free electrons will recombine with empty holes. During this recombination, electrons in the conduction band, that is, free electrons will jump to the hole in valence band. During this jump of electron from conduction band to valence band, electron emit energy in form of photon. This energy is equal to the forbidden energy gap between conduction band and valence band. We know that the energy of a photon is nothing but the product of frequency of electromagnetic radiation and Planck constant. Now consider the energy gap is Eg. Hence, Eg equals Hf where H is Planck constant and F is the frequency of electromagnetic radiation. Now it can be said that Eg is proportional to F. So if we adjust this band gap Eg, we can produce such electromagnetic wave whose frequency will be in our visual range. This is what we do in light emitting diode. We have already said that photon will release in all electron hole recombination, but light only emit in LED. Let us explain why. In normal silicon, this entire radiation of electromagnetic wave during recombination is in the form of heat. This is because silicon and germanium semiconductor are not direct gap semiconductors. Rather, these are indirect gap semiconductors. In indirect gap semiconductor, the maximum energy level of valence band and minimum energy level of conduction band do not occur at the same momentum of electrons. Hence, during recombination of electrons and holes, that is migration of electrons from conduction band to valence band, the momentum of electrons would be changed. The photons originated from these electrons will be mostly utilized for the electron momentum. In direct gap semiconductor, the maximum of valence band and minimum of conduction band occur at the same electron momentum. Hence, there will be no change of momentum of electrons during migration from conduction band to valence band. So the photons originated due to that migration have not to provide momentum to electrons. Unlike normal diodes which are made from either germanium or silicon, the indirect gap semiconductor materials, light-emitting diodes, are made from direct gap semiconductor, compounded such as gallium arsenide, gallium phosphide, gallium arsenide phosphide, silicon carbide, gallium indium nitride. Also, they may be mixed together at different ratios to produce more distinct wavelength of colors. This is how an LED or light emitting diode works. Hope you got the idea. Thank you.